The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. And he got all of this one. Great kick. The volunteers in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time, where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'll be shocked if they can slow him down. Nice run there. So he holds on to it and gets a good five yards. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd and this stadium. Throws, and he's right there to knock it away. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Tackle at the 29-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Nearly intercepted. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Second and 10. Ball on their own 29. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. Brought down around the 28-yard line. Call a loss of one yard on the play. Third down. Over the middle to his tailback. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. That'll bring up fourth and five. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. Oklahoma's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Kill, kill, kill. Green Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 47-yard line. It's second down. He scrambles, and they get the sack. You know, this corner has physical abilities that you're going to see at the next level. He can cover wide receivers. He can be physical against the run. But here he also shows an ability to pressure the quarterback off the blitz. That's a great play by him. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. And he's tackled at the 33. Taken down around the 36 yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it six. 
And he's taken down right around the 36 yard line. tries to buy some time. Decides to slide. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. He might have a chance. Runs it left for a decent game. They make the stop at about the 49. Loss, Loss of one, one yard, yard on the play. play. That'll bring They're about four yards away here on third down. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Black five. Black pick. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled right around the 20. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. Inside the 10, and it's caught. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. They'll bring him down at the four-yard line. That brings up second and goal. Kill, kill, kill! And down he goes around the one-yard line. Touchdown, OU! And he converts the extra point. It was an 11-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Oklahoma is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Sooners have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. He's scrambling. Tackle at the 33-yard line. About eight yards there on the scramble. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. I think he made a late read of the defense there. Quarterback needs to be much more decisive with his option read. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball in the 29. Looks like we're going to have a good game on our hands after one. 7 0, Oklahoma. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. The crowd at this stadium always a factor in a football game. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. And it's caught. That makes it second and eight. The handback 
Picks up a yard. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He really got a hold of that one. He fields a punt at the 20. Tackle made at the 30. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Out of bounds at the 36. Oklahoma is up by a touchdown. He can't get away from the pressure. That'll make it third and 13. So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. Hey, check mic 45. Check mic 45. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Three, three, three. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down at the 29. Number 45 makes the tackle at the 29-yard line. That brings up fourth and 11. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it to the 35-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of six on the ball. Watch 14, watch 14. Here we go, here we go. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Nowhere to go on the delay. Him hard at the 50 yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. He gets sacked on the play. battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think probably the offensive coordinator take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. Oklahoma is up seven. And he's tackled at the 33.
He gets rid of this one. It's second and ten. Ball on the 33. He's going to try and scramble. They'll make the sack. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. It seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as the Picked off by the senior. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 36. Hit on the throw. He caught it. He's tackled in the open field. Game 13 on the way. First down. And he's leveled at the 36-yard line. Number 20 brings him down at the 36-yard line. Three down, three down. That makes it first and 10. Mike 20. Scrambling around. And he got about six on that little scramble. Tight end. He's taken down at about the 21. That's good for First down. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. He gets out to about the 18 yard line. Three yard gain by the running back. Great play here by the freshman safety. He read the run and made a good tackle. From the 18 yard line, second down. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. Here's the eighth play of the series. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Big play, and it's first and goal. Kill, kill. That makes it first and goal. Now he tries to buy some time. That's a great tackle at the one. They bring him down. He's in trouble. And he throws it away. It's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Tennessee to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oklahoma is up four. And he's hit immediately. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. We've got a first and ten. All on their own 40. He's in trouble. Just throws this one away. around the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, first down. 
I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. He lets it fly. Doesn't get there. We played a half of football. Oklahoma leads 7-3. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. No impressive rushing numbers in the first half. Both teams continued to try to establish the run. They were very stubborn about it, though neither one was very successful. We got the sense at times that it was a little predictable that maybe the defense knew exactly what was coming every time. The run game is extremely important. It's important because it's body blows to a defense and you loosen them up, I think, later in the game. It opens it up to play action, but that doesn't mean that your script goes first and ten, I have to run the football. Mix it up, keep them off balance, keep the defense guessing. You've seen across college football, the teams with the most balance seems to be the most successful offense. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Curtis. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. we got a tight game here. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Oklahoma is up by four. Makes it to the 37. He makes his way to about the 48. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Easy, easy, More plays like this and the coaching staff is gonna need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 49 yard line. Quick throw, and he's tackled right away. Caught with room to work. Knocked out of bounds. The 26-yard line. They make the stop at the 18. Number 17 makes the stop at the 18. That'll bring up second and three. Black five, black five, three, six, ready, six. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. One yard loss for the halfback. That brings up second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the 10. Oklahoma holds a four point lead. Hit and still completed it. He tackles him for a loss. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all. 
Oh, this one. Great kick. For Oklahoma, their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. And with the help from this defensive unit, they're winning in familiar fashion. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Caught out in the open. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 35. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Mike 20, Mike 20. There's a party now. Kill, three kill, kill! Nine, green, nine. Three, green, nine. fifteen. Let's go! He steps out at the 38-yard line. That makes it second and eight. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 41. That's good. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. He's out of bounds at about the 45. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. Tries to get around the corner. He takes it in at the 14. Tackle at the 19. Tennessee's a team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 17-yard line. Oklahoma up seven points. He goes out of bounds around the 21-yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Red two. Kill, kill. Blue four. Panther two. Blue four. Go. And down he goes to 37-yard line. That'll bring, That'll bring up, up second, second and 11. 11. From their own 37 yard line, it's second down. Come on, QB, come on. 45 to Mike. Three, three, three. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. He's at midfield. He's knocked out of bounds at the 37. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13. Ball on the 40 yard line. Here we go. Tackle at the 45 yard line. Loss of five on the play. That'll bring up third and long. And this play is number eight on the drive. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. 
The punt goes out of bounds at the two-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a D. That brings them second and five. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the nine. The crowd really making it difficult. And he hits him hard at the 22 yard line. Number 20 on the tackle at the 22 yard line. Three down, three down. First Mike down. 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Red two! There's a strike complete, and he tackles him hard at the 24. We're headed to the fourth quarter, and both of these defenses are still stealing the show. 10-3, Oklahoma. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Throw to the tight end. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Watch out, they're gonna bring the heat right here. And this one is a beauty. And he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Oklahoma is up a score. Just throws this one away. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. Slings it. He's tackled at about the 49. This is the eighth play of the drive. Larry, Larry. Oklahoma is up seven.
Quick throw out to the receiver. He gets hit out of bounds around the 28-yard line. And he is drilled at the 36-yard line. Fourth and long here after the sack. It's up, looks long enough, and he got it! The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. All well, these defensive coaches have got to be loving what they've seen from their guys today. Well, you and I talked to both of these coordinators getting ready for this game, and they put together a game plan. They shared it with us, and we're seeing it out there on the field today. They still are going to determine the outcome of this game. Just under two to go in the game. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Wants to go long and does. And this one's going to get intercepted. He's taken down around the 41-yard line. I think you can start off the bus, Herbie. This one's over with that interception. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 41. He's taken down at the 49. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. The Volunteers taking their first time out of the half. Got some open field. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. He's at the 30, he's at the 20, makes it to the 17. Tennessee's out of timeout. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one, 13-3, Sooner. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.